Hello, my name is Jackie Johnson and I am the creator behind Come Follow Me Art Journaling. This is the introductory video for 2023. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't created many videos this past year, mostly because we had a baby, but we also had a lot of big things going on, which was all exciting, but it didn't really leave much time for a YouTube channel. So, for anyone that doesn't know, if you're new or just coming across this video and wondering if it's something you might be interested in, Come Follow Me is a scripture study resource that was created by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and it's used worldwide by the members throughout each year, and it's available online for anyone to use if they'd like to. I like to add a little more to my study through art journaling. For me, it's a way to have a deeper connection to what I'm studying, and it's a great time to ponder on truth. For anyone who would like to join me, welcome! Feel free to get yourself a sketchbook and gather whatever art supplies you have and follow along. You don't have to get anything new or special other than some kind of book to create your art in, so don't feel like you need to go out and spend a bunch of money or anything. I'll be using uh, different art mediums from time to time, but you don't have to use exactly what I use. You're welcome to do what I'm doing in my journal, or you can simply use it as inspiration and you can get as creative as you like. So if you want to share your art with me or online, you can share on Instagram with the tag come follow me art journaling, or you can email me at comefollowmeart at gmail.com. I would love to see what you guys create, and I've also decided to share everyone's creations on my Instagram page and in these weekly videos. So as far as this channel goes, this is my third year doing this, although I've yet to complete a year in it. I hope this year is a lot calmer. So. My hope is to complete this year and come follow me art journaling, and maybe I'll throw up a few other art related videos as well. We'll see on that one. Maybe you guys will have to let me know if that's something that you'd like. Okay, so for this week's journal pages, I wanted to just create my title page. I didn't want it to be anything too elaborate, but somehow I still managed to pick something that turned out to be a, lot, a little bit harder than I thought it would be, but that's okay. As you've already seen, I used a pencil to just sketch in my title and I'm drawing in some little pictures. On the right hand side, I drew out um, his hand stretching out to say, as if he's saying, come follow me. So drawing hands is a lot of fun, but for some reason, the artist in me just has to pick something more complicated than normal. This wasn't too bad, except like where his head is, I couldn't figure out how to fix that. So I felt like I was just, painting a worm rather than a person <laughs> and I was even using a reference photo I swear that's what the picture looked like uh, but whatever it's fine anyway I cause myself a lot of grief sometimes in painting because I just can't pick something easy and simple apparently but anyway I decided to use watercolors on this because that at least is something that I'm comfortable in using Watercolors are one of my favorite mediums, so I'll probably be using that a lot this year. So, I thought our study this week was a really good introduction to the rest of the year. I started out my studying with a little prayer, and then I wrote down some questions that I have that I'd like to find answers to as I study throughout the year. And then I asked myself, what do I want out of my scripture study this year? And I wrote down my answers, and I want to share some of my notes here. What am I looking for in my study of the New Testament this year? I'm looking for a closer relationship with Jesus Christ and Heavenly Father. I want to more fully turn to Christ and give my whole life and soul to Him. What does that look like? That's one of the questions I'd like to answer. I want to accept the invitation He gave to follow Him. I want to learn about the life of Jesus Christ on a more scholarly level, and I want to understand more fully the pure doctrine of Christ. This year, I face a choice. I can study here and there and not really grow, or I can do what my soul craves, to study the scriptures deeply and come to know my Savior on a whole new level. What does it mean to be responsible for my own learning? How can I teach that to my children? There is a personal relationship between ourselves and Heavenly Father. There is a spiritual walk that consists of a two-way communication through prayer, scriptures, and the Holy Spirit. Then there's the power of Christ that comes into our lives. His grace is free, 
It is always there, and we can access it through our faith and actions, such as participating in sacred ordinances and living the way that Christ taught. And through all of this, Christ changes our very beings. Our prophet, Russell M. Nelson, said, The new home-centered, church-supported, integrated curriculum has the potential to unleash the power of families. As each family follows through, conscientiously and carefully to transform their home into a sanctuary of faith. I promise you that as you diligently work to remodel your home into a center of gospel learning, over time, your Sabbath days will truly be a delight. Your children will be excited to learn and live the Savior's teachings, and the influence of the adversary in your life and in your home will decrease. Changes in your family will be dramatic and sustaining. I know that this promise is true. It's my personal goal this year to make learning about Jesus Christ through Come Follow Me the highest priority for myself and my family. So I don't have much more to add to that, so this is it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope to hear from you guys. During the times that I've done this before, it seemed to be something that people have enjoyed. So if you know anyone that might like this, please share it with them. It would help to grow this channel and share the light with as many people as possible, which is the whole point of creating this channel in the first place. I appreciate all of your guys' support. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and if you're interested in seeing more videos. Thank you again and I'll see you guys in the next video.